Hey guys, this is Accounting Nightmare, and I'm back with more Let's Play Devil May Cry 2. This time I've got Lucia's disc in. You'll see Lucia is more prominent on the title screen. And we're going to start a new game with her. And just like Dante, normal, hard, and Lucia must die this time. So there's actually quite a lot of repeated cutscenes in between Lucius and Dante's stories. In a time I guess it's because time. it's just in case if you don't feel like playing through as Dante. I'm not sure why you wouldn't if you're playing this game. But it's just in case. Humans. So I'm going to be skipping those as they come up. That's just the intro cutscene with Lucy and Dante. Mission 1. Toward the south, the Protector will find the time. Protector. So Lucy is called the Protector and Dante is referred to as the Hunter. Okay, got control of Lucia here. Just like Dante, she's got air height right off the bat. Her controls are the same. She's got different weapons. Red orb. So you see she's got two smaller blades. Instead of a nice big sword. She's got a roll button, just like Dante. And you may remember this building from the end of Dante's Mission 1. That's Lucia's house. Lucia's and Matier's house, sorry. And that's her wall climb. There's a couple of different animations, as you can see there. And this part here is... <laughs> it's actually a red orb hunt. Yeah, just like the start of DMC1. I guess Capcom thought it was awesome and thought they should bring it back. Wasn't exactly the best idea. But oh well. No, hard to find. And we've already got them all. 45 red orbs. We had 45 exactly. So you see our red orbs don't carry over from Dante. They collect their own separate items. Now you may notice that Lucy has actually got different battle music. And, instead of guns, she has throwing knives. She doesn't get any guns at all. As you can see, her combos are quite fast. Just like Dante. By pressing the analog stick at different points in the combo, you can branch off into different variations. It's a bit harder to figure out what Lucia can do exactly because her combos are quite fast and you can only branch off on certain hits. And you might notice that she also has the Devil Trigger. Well, let's trigger. So it's kind of like an angel. It's quite pretty actually. And her triggered daggers are quite dangerous. White orbs. And green orbs. Always useful. It's quite a damaging combo there. Now instead of the stinger, Lucia has this forward kick. That one there. Doesn't have very much range. Does some pretty nice damage though. And instead of high time, she has this back kick. Flick him into the air. Just like with high time, if you hold the attack button, you'll follow it into the air. And a gold orb. Now, you might be noticing, this looks a little familiar. Yep, it's Dante's Mission 1 backwards. Oh dear. But the secrets are in different locations. Secret room level 1. A whole bunch of birds in this one. These secret rooms are different for both Lucia and Dante. And 
and I believe Wave 2 will be a whole bunch of birds as well. I've actually already recorded this video and uh, I wasn't very happy with it, so I'm redoing it. So I apologise if I repeat anything that was actually said in my Mission 2 video, because I've already done that video. I've gone back in time. And this wave is going to take a while, so I'm going to fast forward this bit. And that was a bit monotonous, but it's over now. And we've already got a reward. Blue Orb Fragment. So Lucia gets a blue orb fragment from every secret room. Instead of every second secret room like Dante. That's because Lucia actually has 10 secret rooms. Instead of 20 like Dante. And the Statue of Time. We don't really need that right now. Second blue orb fragment already. Let's continue on. So Lucia's also got a backflip. Instead of a cartwheel, she's got a uh, side jump spin thing. More enemies. Let's go nuts on them. Let's see if we can keep our star ranking up. And I think one of the first things I upgrade will be my trigger gauge. So that'll help kill enemies faster. And I'm used to having a nice big one. I had a show time, but I lost it. I'm really not sure how many enemies spawn here, but they just keep spawning. There we go, there's more. So I'm not going to waste any more time there. You've seen me fight those guys quite a few times now. You may remember this part from Dante's Mission 1. But there's birds here this time instead. And I fought a whole bunch of them in the secret room, so I'm not going to mess around with them anymore. But the birds are quite annoying as Lucia because you can't air combo them. You can try. But Lucia will mostly miss them. She's good against big targets in the air, but smaller targets she'll go right past. Grab those red orbs. And there's that disc thrower. Kill him first off, because we do not like him. He's a pain. That way we get to go to town on his friends. Notice they've got different weapons there. Some of them have swords, some of them have rather large blades. Like bloody butcher's knives. <laughs> Interesting variations there. In case anyone's new to the Devil May Cry series, the series is about Dante. Uh, Lucia is only in this game, she's not in any of the other three games. That's because this is apparently the last one in the timeline. Apparently. The timeline's pretty strange, actually. In chronological order, it is apparently. Oh, well, there's a disc thrower. I'll take care of him first. It goes 3, 1, 4, 2. I know, it's bizarre. <laughs> and we'll kill this last guy, then we'll take off. The series is about Dante, the half human, half devil. Another one spawned, wow. There might be endless spawns there, actually. about Dante. He hunts demons, basically. That's all the story you really need to know. There are other things, like he has a twin brother named Virgil. You may have wondered who the character Trish is. She's explained in Devil May Cry 1. And 
golems. We're going to trigger to take this guy out. Hopefully he won't regenerate now. Golems can be quite irritating on D and D mode, especially because they can get away from you really easy. We got him though. Let's grab his red orbs. Thank you. When they get low on health, they they're down to just their legs, <laughs> which is actually pretty amusing. But uh, their legs can move really quick. You'd be surprised. They can get across the other side of the area from you and regenerate. As we trigger, Let's see if we can cut him down. Get his down to his legs, and he's trying to get away, but he's gone. Grab his red orbs. All right. So Lucy's missions are mostly different. There is a, a bit of overlap with bosses and such. And there's actually a blue orb fragment up here. But Lucy's missions, her story actually kind of makes more sense than Dante's. With Dante's, at some point you're left wondering, what the hell are we doing? But Lucy's gives you a feeling she's actually out to accomplish something. Not yet, because we haven't been told anything. But soon. And you may remember this is where Dante started off. That's the end of the mission right there. Mission 2 takes place inside there. But first off we're going to go do a secret room. Secret room level 2. Now these are terror off yes. instead of Agon off yes. I honestly don't know what the difference is. Don't know if there even is a difference. <laughs> There's a lot of enemies in this game that uh, look similar, but just have different names. I don't know if they've even got a health difference here. They're still dying really quick. It's quite bizarre, actually. There's like three different kind of goats, all of them are mostly the same. No blood goats have a bit of quite a bit more health than the others. And this wave has four disc rolls. You see those discs are actually hurting the ones in the centre there. That is very amusing. Oh, friendly fire. It is amusing to no end. I've got them all bunched out. Well, that was quite some destruction there, wasn't it? That combo is interesting in Devil Trigger form. It's quite damaging too, actually. The Devil Trigger forms actually have different combos. I'll get to show them off a bit more later on. And that's over. Another blue up fragment. That should be... yep. A full blue orb. Health bar has been extended. Excellent. And that's secret room two. And now we'll go finish off the mission. C S D D S and a B. All I need there is an A and that'll make it perfect. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go continue on with uh, Dante's missions actually. I've already recorded Lucia mission too. So I'll see you next time. <laughs>